The Senate echoed concerns attributing Nigerians' current challenges with respect to the state of local governance as they urged the House to revisit Session 7 of the Constitution during the amendment process to address the issues comprehensively in a bid to empowering local governments. The Senators emphasized the importance of genuine control and decision-making power at the local level, stressing that autonomy is essential for effective security measures tailored to specific community needs and for building trust with residents. In an effort to discover if local governments are rapid enough for such autonomy, Bit of a newsman spoke with some respondents in the Benin metropolis. They added that if such is to take place, then mechanisms should be put in place to ensure proper administration and accountability of the local government areas while stressing that if these governments are the grassroots and that they should be given autonomy to better aid societal development. The uh, local government is um, ripe enough uh, to you know, get full autonomy, but uh, um, if they get full auto autonomy, they should be also called to accountability in the sense that there should be um, some checks mechanism you know, to see um, how the money budgeted to the local government is being expended um, by the different um, House of, either the House of Assembly members and then uh, Senate, um, senators representing that local, that local government. Local government, they are ripe enough because if you are talking about development in this country, it starts from the grassroots, which is the local government. Your hand. Give it that freedom, it, they will go a long way to impart on the people. The situation we are having in this country now, whereby the governors, uh, in one way or the other, control the local government, and they are not able to reach out to their, their real mandate as grassroots government to the people. So give it that freedom. They can be able to do enough, substantially. Uh, yes, the local government is uh, ripe enough, because uh, we have three tiers of government, and all of them are supposed to be independent, with different uh, structures. And I don't think it will happen uh, any development. It will enhance uh, full development of the... The, the community and the society. In a contrary review, others stated that local governments are not ripe enough for self-autonomy as it would breed ruckus in the system, especially with the misuse of security personnel during election season, adding that the local government still have so much to do in managing its policies and administration. They did it that way. There will be more crises and, uh, because we don't even know how far the local government is because we are, they are not been working for so many for so many years. So we know the government in the industry that they have been doing this, their local government issues. So they are not giving them this free hand to rework. So we don't really know if they've lived there now, how the chairman and the people will carry out these uh, these uh, affairs and all these issues on, on ground. For me, it's not even right for autonomy to have their own police or any security outfit. We understand because they will abuse that privilege. The local government are mature to have an autonomy, but not in all areas. To the best of my knowledge, the issue of security, no, they are not matured in that. At a time we come, they will use them to do some certainty in an election. The local government are mature for their own, for their own pro, uh, project. They should have autonomous to some certain area. But when it comes to security, security is vital to the nation. Just like other lower levels of government in most developed countries, the Senate are optimistic that a drive for full autonomy of local government in Nigeria will aid even distribution of the dividends of democracy. As Soa Osemege reporting for BTV News.